but it actually was quite a lot of pumpkins here at one point and um, and what I you, you guys you really don't want to walk in the back there please no 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 don't, don't go there come come forward you really there's too many things please yeah so um, if you if you have enough money and you go to the best organic shop and you buy an organic pumpkin you feel really good with yourself no and you go home you cut it you cook it you feed your family your friends the organic pumpkin everyone goes ah, that one may suffer it that's a real food that's a good taste that's something different you know so that's the best your money can get you that's the best money will buy for the in, in the pumpkin story you know but Pumpkin is like a, it's like a, it's like nothing to grow. It's just too easy. In Oroville, in July, we have what we call Adi Padniete. It's the lunar lunar calendar. It's the time when we plant pumpkin, especially. So you put pumpkin in that season. You'll have pumpkin for next sort of like five, six months. It will be there, without any effort. You put it next to a hibiscus, next to some tree that you're giving water, next to anything, it will grow. Now. The reason I say that is just to, sh to show it's not it's it's feasible that everyone had a pumpkin plot. So in Oroville, we don't we aren't going to go and buy our pumpkin in a shop. We're going to go to the pumpkin patch. The first thing we take isn't the pumpkin. The first thing is these is the tendrils. So when the pumpkin is healthy and there's enough water, this is in like super abundance. In Thailand, this stuff is a delicacy. They, 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 they sell it in, you know, in like polystyrene in little packets. It's, a, it's used in a stir fry and it's used in salads. It's a, if you want to try. <laughs> so you, you have it in a stir fry, you have it in a salad. It's, it's very delicious, a little crunchy. The next thing we eat are the flowers. So the flowers, they, we use them in, we use them in salads. We, um, we use them in salads and we, um, we, we also can make this bhaji, you know, this uh, what we call beignet in French, this uh, deep fried thing. You can stuff them with like a hummus or some dal paste and then roast them on the dosa stone. Beautiful taste, very special nutrition as well. The next thing we eat are these leaves, the fresh tender leaves. So usually what you do is you scorch them in steam and then you de-vein them, you remove these veins from them. And this is probably the sweetest spinach I ever had. It's so delicious. Uh, again, in, in Vietnam, people keep telling me that Vietnam and Laos are as very creative places for uses of these types of things. They cut the stems off like this and they stir fry the stems. And it's a, it's a delicacy there again. The next thing we would eat is the the unripe pumpkin which is which we call the parangakai it's a little what we say pingy it's not too ripe yet it has a certain taste certain flavor then you have the ripe pumpkin but you also have the seeds so look at the nutritional value we got when we went to our pumpkin patch when we got the gift from mother nature our coin our economic paradigm is squeezing us in, in into a very uh, very small you know nutritional value so that's the beauty of what I'm trying to share with you here if you if you want to just um, oh, one second going there also pumpkin melon is growing we are suffering with water here that's why we do this mulching the mulching is like retaining retaining the the moisture in the soil but uh, even then you still need a certain amount of water to make things work so we can go this way 